What's up guys? We are finally moving. A little sunny outside, so I can't really keep my eyes open. And uh, I'm kind of indifferent, I'm kind of indifferent. It's definitely a lot of work and a lot of money. I'm a straightforward guy. It's costing me over $15,000 to move my businesses and my house stuff. It's just like such a large quantity of things in this warehouse. Like I thought about it, you know, three, four commercial trucks, the labor and stuff kind of a fair price and then if I get a forklift it's gonna be like 16 17 thousand to move everything which to, to me is, is an astronomical amount of money but it's whatever so I'll show you guys upstairs first we got pretty much everything that was in the front packed up into boxes took all the metro shelving down these are some of the orders to go out on Monday you see all the shelving is packed up here the tables are pretty much clean. We just have what we need to pack up orders tomorrow, Monday, because we are shipping out uh, our last orders Monday. And then we're gonna move everything over on Tuesday. Uh, we got all the milk crates there, which take up quite a bit of space. Even more milk crates. Pile of shipping supplies here. We gotta move the equipment. We got the bandsaw, the bar maker, all that stuff. Pretty much everything is packed up. The meat in the freezer we're moving separately on a frozen truck and we have pretty much everything on a pallet right now so uh, when the truck comes on Tuesday we could just wheel all the meat out of here nice and fast, keep it cold and then just get it on the truck. Back here we just got the boxes ready to ship everything on Monday, uh, a few pallets of cardboard boxes. Just more shipping supplies back here, guys. All the cardboard boxes on pallets. Uh, we got it ready to get out of here. Uh, these coolers we should use up tomorrow, Monday, so we won't have much to move. We're taking the refrigerator with us, but the, the big fridge and the big freezer, it's not worth moving. All the stuff in the fridge we'll take on Tuesday. Yeah, I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be or exactly what I'm gonna film. Uh, because you know we have a few days of moving of the company just taking everything out of here then we have the unloading process over uh in pa so we'll probably give you guys just a little glimpse of everything but now nah, i just wanted to show you like what it looks like everything packed up before we move because after tomorrow everything's going to be out of here pretty quickly so we got all the pallets of the organ supplements products here uh, we got some beef tallow a small amount of water over here the actual organ supplements room I basically just packed everything into like 10 boxes in the middle of the floor and we just got these tables that I'll probably take with me, but just a few boxes over here, more organ supplements boxes, some Wi-Fi shielding stuff, more organ supplements boxes. This is all the Wi-Fi shielding stuff consolidated, maybe 10 boxes. This is all the Frankie's natural stuff. Here we have more organ supplements. Guys, that, that organ supplements order was huge just to do the, uh, the minimum. Uh, quantity for each product we have so much we might have to do like a liquidation sale there's just some miscellaneous stuff over here mastic gum extra mastic gum vacuum i gotta open up these boxes see what it is that this is the only thing left to kind of pack up everything else is ready just some empty boxes lying around we got the dehumidifiers we got to bring with us uh, glass stuff for the water kefir some more milk crates miscellaneous cooking supplies over there here are some animal feed I'm debating taking with me. It's about $3,000 worth. Who knows when I'm going to get to use it. Uh, just some more supplies, towels, sugar for the kefir, organic sugar. I think this is berry powder and some more glass bottles. The office is kind of packed up. I just have to print out the orders tomorrow morning and then I'll, I'll get the computer away. I don't think I'm going to take the desk with me because I have a desk over there and it's not exactly a nice desk. That's pretty much everything down here. So there's a few bits and bobs. I don't know if I'm gonna take with me. This is like a cheap aluminum ramp. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of steel and PVC. I'm not a construction guy. I don't know if this is really worth anything. I don't think it's worth much. All the electrical stuff. These pails, I mean, I might take them. I think these are four or $5 each if you have to buy them. So I might as well take them with me. 
Got some ladders here too I should probably take. I mean, we'll see how it goes. You know, I'm paying this moving company a lot of money, so like I'm not expecting myself or my employees to have to like kill ourselves doing physical labor for the next few days. Uh, I'm more irritated at the amount of money I spent in this building on the freezer and stuff and how much I have to spend on this moving company to relocate everything, but it's whatever at this point. When I'm making a hundred billion dollars, I won't worry about it, right? Uh, yeah, so the game plan is ship out all remaining orders Monday. We're going to move the meat over on Tuesday. I'm going to go over and unload the meat order at the new location myself while my guys in the moving company packs everything on the truck here. And then Wednesday, we should finish packing up everything on the truck. And then Thursday, uh, we go over there and unload everything. And maybe it's just Thursday and then Friday we're in. And we should be good to go. And then my guys don't have a lot of stuff and I have I got an apartment for them. So that should be a pretty easy transition, I guess, getting them over there Thursday. And then my stuff, I'm not really sure. I'm supposed to close on the house this week. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure yet. When I go over there Tuesday to unload the meat, I'm supposed to go over to close the house and sign the paperwork. So a little, little bit going on this week. Hey, some of you guys remember these? We passed these out when uh, you know what started. I still have like a thousand of these or whatever. Time flies. Well, that's pretty much everything packed up. I found uh, my old notes. Wait, what is this? Oh, this was a, a sales pitch for an investor a few years ago we were going to do on Frankie's Strange Meat. But this binder is uh, my recipes from back when I was on MasterChef. So maybe I'll look through this later just for some nostalgia. But a lot of stuff I came up with myself. So Frankie's Free Range Restaurant when? Day two of the moving vlog. It's Monday. I'm just going to show you guys. We got all the orders ready to ship out today we're getting every single thing out because we're not gonna be able to ship for another week until we're in the new place on monday and i i did rent a forklift we got one outside and i'm going to be the certified forklift driver now we actually have a forklift in our new location so you guys will get plenty of me driving forklift content um, but i'm probably not going to show you me driving this one just because uh, there's a lot going on on here down here i gotta like pay a lot of attention gotta get the mechanic to move all these cars out of the way so i don't crash into one of them but that's really it for day two. We're just going to ship these orders out. And uh, tomorrow morning, the trucks are going to come to move the meat. Then the moving company is going to come and the movers are going to start to work tomorrow. So we should be all packed up by Wednesday. All right, guys, this is day three of the moving vlog. It's uh, nice and early in the morning. We're getting ready to move all the meat over to the new place. So we have like the walkway cleared out. This is cleared out and ready. All the milk crates are kind of over here. My guys did an amazing job of organizing all the meat in the house. I'm going to give my guys like a few more dollar bonus this week. Um, look at that. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna take maybe the 10 meat pallets over and then all the other stuff that's like in boxes and not as important, we'll do that. Um, we'll do that on the second truck that's gonna come in a few hours. It looks fucking good. <laughs> all right, so we got, it's kind of same as yesterday. It looks a little, little cleaner and more organized back here though. So we got, everything on pallets for the most part that's a little high maybe we'll just have to i'll see what the moving company says because I'm, I'm not an expert on this stuff so i'll see if we have to either reduce the amount of stuff up the pallets or wrap it uh, but i'm gonna go be uh maybe i don't have to be a forklift operator today uh the guy might have a lift gate on the truck for the meat and it's easier to use the lift gate because i'm not too good at driving that forklift Plus, it's like the fucking middle of the street in the Bronx, so like, <laughs> it's not, try not to hit anything. People drive like lunatics, it's not a good idea. I'm better off not using it. Bro, I shouldn't, bro, I should not be driving this fucking thing. Bro, I should not be driving this fucking thing. First time forklift driver on the street in the Bronx. These heavy pallets, I'm not having so much fun. The street is just so busy and crazy, it's a little stressful. 
Yeah, so after me learning how to drive a forklift in the middle of New York City, we got most of the freezer emptied out. Pretty much all the meat went. The rest of the stuff, we just have a few more things to meet, and then it's just like stuff that still has to be cut up. The next truck should be here in an hour, and then uh, that, when that next truck comes, I'm gonna follow it out to Pennsylvania. All right, so it's about 10 in the morning. I almost had a stroke from driving this forklift. So we got the, the moving company here, they got like eight guys and three trucks. Uh, so they're loading up. The problem is I gotta uh, close on my apartment lease in PA in like two hours. So I actually have to leave. And the only issue is if they're gonna take like four or five hours to load the trucks up here, I'm not waiting in my warehouse until like eight at night. So I'm just gonna give them the keys let them drive over there because if I get to PA two three o'clock and finish everything at like 3 p.m. they might not be in PA until like six or seven and then they're gonna have to unload another two hours so I don't want to sit over there till 10 and if I drive back I'm not gonna be back here in time so uh, probably just let them unload everything themselves and, and, and just leave the warehouse open when I go over there but we'll see we're heading over there now so I'll show you guys they loading the truck they're gonna basically bring everything over there I actually got to figure out where we're getting our dry ice this week. That's the only thing I'm worried about. We're about halfway there. So here's the game plan. It's about 1130. We're supposed to close on the lease for the house at one o'clock. And then I got to close on the lease for the apartment I got for my guys at two o'clock. Then we're going to go to the warehouse. I'm going to get the computer set up, do a few things, uh, maybe clean some stuff up, practice on the forklift a little bit because the second truck of meat, which is supposed to pick up in about half an hour from the Bronx, is gonna then drive over here. Now, hopefully they're here by like four or five o'clock, and then after I unload that truck, um, I'm gonna call the moving company and see how close they are. I might end up staying with the moving company, and then we gotta go back to New York, you know, eat dinner and go to bed. I'm just not looking forward, because tomorrow I gotta drive back here again to bring my guys back and then Thursday I gotta move my stuff over here one day and do all that stuff so I'll be in my car like the whole fucking week so it's about 1 30 we closed the lease on the house uh, we're heading over to take a quick look at the house but the move sounds like they're almost done over there in the Bronx so we might actually be able to stay and help them move in because if I'm waiting for that meat truck and they're only gonna be here an hour, hour and a half later, I might as well hang around. I'll wait till they get here and then I'll just leave. Like I'm not gonna wait and, um, and, and wait till they finish unloading. I'm just gonna like show them how everything works in the new space and then come home. All right guys, we got here, got the house, got the apartment for my guys. And now we're waiting for the meat truck to come. It should be here soon actually because within half an hour so this is our our new loading dock loading area we got front of the building here so this is the other side of the building i'm not going to really give you guys a tour we'll save that for the tour video but uh my head is fucking killing me uh, i'm gonna eat lunch and um try to relax before this meat truck comes maybe my head will feel better all right guys i just had lunch my head hurts otherwise i would try to do a little more i was gonna set up the new computer today but i'm just gonna take a nap <laughs> uh no this meat truck should be here soon now i'm not really gonna show you guys uh the whole warehouse and like what i'm doing now but this is our warehouse area we got two loading docks here and uh basically the meat's gonna come in about 20 minutes i'm gonna hand jacket off the truck into the freezer and then we got the eggs and dairy that's going to go in the fridge i'll show you i'll show you guys the refrigeration uh the, the guy that sold me this building was kind enough to uh, help me out a lot like he came over here earlier for that first truck and he brought all that meat in so we already got our meat over here these were the first pallets that we loaded onto the truck Oh no, guys, this freezer, this freezer is huge. This is a freezer. And then the other side of the freezer comes into a meat cutting room and, and the fridge is over there. 
So I have to bring the some stuff through the freezer to the fridge. Yeah. So after we uh, after we unload this meat, I think I'm gonna take a nap in the fridge and see if I feel a little better. Uh, maybe I'll take a nap in the freezer if I don't want to wake up. <laughs> uh, then the moving company is gonna come. I'm not staying here for that shit. I'm just gonna show them where to put everything and, and drive home. Because I don't think the moving company is gonna be here till like five, 5.30. So if I leave 5.36, I might actually get home before eight or nine. I might take tomorrow off. I was planning on driving my guys down here and moving everything over here tomorrow, but there's no rush. If I don't feel good, if my head hurts this much tomorrow, I'll just tell my guys to take the day off and then we'll come back on Thursday with everything. Not with everything, but I'll move my guys over here on Thursday. And they can start working on Thursday and Friday, and I'll try to move in here. So it's like 4.15. The meat truck was supposed to be here half an hour ago. And I'm laying on the only clean thing in this warehouse, which is a pallet of coolers that I ordered. <laughs> uh, so the meat should come momentarily. If I don't die of brain damage. I do not feel good. So the meat truck got pulled over at a weight station and is substantially overweight. <laughs> so who knows when that's gonna come. The moving company is still about two hours away. So I'm gonna put like an EMF thing on my head and try to take a nap. I, I kind of want to just go home because I probably can. Because the meat truck, they might just deliver another day. And the moving company can do everything themselves over here. Uh, but if I'm not here to show the moving company where to put everything, it's going to be a, maybe more work down the line. So and it's probably better if I just get an hour or two of sleep. So then um, I, I can drive home more comfortably. All right, I'm in this fucking warehouse with this stupid thing on my head, feeling like a crazy person. Uh, the truck for the meat was really overweight, so they're going to have to split it and come off in the morning. Um, but this is why like i always complain i can't duplicate myself if i was over there at the warehouse when they were loading up the meat instead of waiting here for the first meat truck i would have been able to tell them and show them how many pallets to put on the truck instead even though i told them before i left to put seven pallets on the truck they put 11 on and if they listened to me the truck wouldn't have been overweight and it would have gotten here just fine but i guess it doesn't really matter because the moving company told me that they weren't finished yet. I thought it was gonna be all done today, but it's not. So we gotta do one more truck back today anyway. So it looks like I'm gonna be stuck in my car. So hopefully my fucking head doesn't explode. I feel a little better after eating it. So it's about six o'clock. You guys can see how bad the stress is messing up my skin and face, but it's just one day. I got the computer all set up here. Got rid of all the old computer equipment that was here, which took me about an hour or so. Not too much work, but we are ready to print orders for next week. So at 6.30, the moving guys got here about half an hour ago. Uh, we're on the stuff now. The guy said it's gonna take them probably a few hours here, so I'm definitely not gonna stay the whole time because I wanna get back to New York before fucking midnight because I gotta wake up and do this again tomorrow. But they're not done. They need two more trucks over there tomorrow. So it's probably gonna take them another two hours to move everything. Then I'm going to have to drive my guys over and then drive back to New York again. Because I haven't moved my personal stuff yet, so we'll see. Alright, it's 7.30. I'm still here. They brought the milk crates out of the truck. I organized them. I made sure we got all the right cardboard box sizing in the right spots. Probably going to be here until they almost leave. Alright guys, it's like 7.45. I've been up since 5 in the morning, so I think I'm going to do the drive back. It should only be like a two-hour drive now that it's late at night, so... Earlier it took me three hours to get here, so now it shouldn't be as bad. But I think these moving guys are gonna be another hour and then they're just gonna close it up for me. Yeah, so 7.45, we're gonna uh, drive back to New York, eat some dinner. I look like fucking hell, dude. I look like I lost 10 fucking pounds in one day. Go to bed and then we gotta wake up tomorrow load the truck up in the Bronx, drive my guys over here, show them their apartment, unload the meat, unload the stuff, 
then I gotta go fucking back home. I'm not gonna show you guys the moving vlog for me personally, because then I gotta go back home again tomorrow, pack my stuff up, move my stuff over. So it'll be worse. All right, guys, it's day two of the moving vlog. I got up at like six in the morning because I couldn't sleep and I packed up some stuff in my personal home, but they got almost all the stuff out of here. There's two more pallets of meat in the freezer. We had that um, that fiasco yesterday. This truck got stopped by DOT, so hopefully the meat's okay. If not, let's not worry about that yet. Um, but we gotta go over to PA, leave now at like 9.30 in the morning so that uh, we can unload that meat truck. I'm also moving my guys over there, showing them the apartment, um, but uh, I got one guy that's one of my employees is left here. They're just loading up the last truck for the moving company because there's still a bit of stuff downstairs. So just this, this should be the last truck. But right now I'm just going to, I'm going to pay the moving company and then uh, I'm going to move my guys over to, to PA and we'll see if that, uh, that meat truck's there, if I can show them the apartment first and all that type of stuff. But um, I think this is kind of it for the moving vlog. What I'll do is... Um, I'll probably show you guys over there, uh, or I'll, I'll show you guys like tomorrow after everything's moved in over there and then I move my stuff too, but um, that's that. All right, it's like 4 p.m. I haven't eaten yet today. I'm in like a Dollar Tree <laughs> trying to get some stuff for my guys. So what we did, we left the Bronx at like 10 a.m. this morning to go over to PA. We got to the warehouse, we unloaded the meat truck, uh, I didn't film any of it. We're busy with the plumber fixing something too and the HVAC guy's fixing something. So I was kind of crazy. I didn't have time to film the vlog over there. Then I took my guys to their apartment, which I'm paying for, and then uh, unloaded some of their stuff. Then we went to get their mattresses and their bed frames. So I took them to the mattress store. I negotiated a killer deal for their mattresses. And now we're at Dollar Tree and then we're gonna get them groceries and then I'm gonna take them back to the warehouse. We gotta unload the moving truck. I have to eat lunch, dude. I need to eat something. It's 4 p.m. I haven't eaten yet today. So uh, when we get back to the warehouse after we get them groceries, we'll probably eat around 5 p.m. I have my lunch all packed up. Or well, I guess at this point I'm eating breakfast for dinner. All right, guys, it's five o'clock. I got my guys all set up. We bought their mattresses. We brought food to their apartment. We're back at the warehouse. The moving truck, final moving truck, should be here momentarily. I'm gonna eat my lunch or <laughs> well, dinner at this point. So, in this room here, with all the shelving, we got a bunch of stuff to unpack. We got the refrigerator over there. And I mean, this is an old freezer that's not hooked up right now. Um, I'll do the, I'll do the, um, the tour another day guys but we got the ovens in over there we got our vacuum sealer and we got the bandsaw the um the electrician has to come in and put some lines for me i think all the meat is in the freezer we got way too much space in the freezer And then over here in the warehouse, those guys yesterday, they unpacked all the cardboard. It's kind of full in here, but we have one more truck of stuff to do. So we're gonna do that and we'll be finished. I'm gonna film, I'll, I'll vlog that a little more before we wrap things up. All right, we got one truck of stuff, so it shouldn't take more than an hour. So I'll probably just stay till they're finished and then I'll drive home myself. Won't be home too late maybe nine or 10 and then go to sleep. And then I got to get up and move my personal stuff tomorrow. So I'm not looking forward to it, but uh, that's going to be it for the moving vlog guys. Cause the move is pretty much done. That's the last truck. We're just going to take everything out and um, we'll do the tour of the new building and everything next week. Show you guys around and all that type of stuff. But for now, uh, we're going to be a little busy. Scratch that. The vlog's not over. We're back in the Bronx. And I'm laughing because when I got out of my car, I literally fell over because my, it's still cramped. <laughs> my right butt cheek cramped up so much from sitting in this car all day. Uh, but I'm just coming back down here to, to check everything and I'll uh, see what's left. 
forgot a few things, so maybe I'll just take one of these gasoline jugs. But it's empty, boys. That's it, huh? That's it. You know, they didn't have room for these coolers. How much money did I lose on this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's like uh, $350, $400 worth of coolers. Because I paid about $5 each for those, but I paid like eight to nine each for the other one. So I'm out about $700 because these didn't fit on the moving truck. It's gone, boys. It's empty. Just some wood pallets down here. That's it, boy. I'll have to take one more leak in my bathroom before we go. Oh well. I should leave a giant fucking shit here for these cocksuckers, but whatever. It's fine. And just a bunch of pallets down here. And then that's really it. Pretty much empty. I think they left some stuff back here. This ramp we didn't take, and there's some buckets that we didn't take. But that's really it, pretty much everything's gone. That's it. Yeah, so I got a guy coming to uh, take this apart and they're gonna take it to their slaughterhouse and sell us meat. So, we got a good deal on that. Kind of very sweet, but I'm fucking over it. I was ready to disappear to Mexico or Russia. Fucking somewhere besides the United States last year. I'm just gonna put some of this stuff in my car and uh, as I've probably said several times, I gotta move my personal stuff tomorrow. So, uh, guys, keep an eye out over the next week or two. We'll do the new building tour. We'll do my new house tour. We'll do a, a few different things for you guys. Next time I'm leaving the fucking place empty like this, I better be moving into an apartment that's housing three Dominican girls.